good morning in today's session we will learn about solenoid solenoid is mainly used as an electromagnet using a solenoid we can produce a uniform magnetic field when an electric current is passed through it so the figure itself shows here a solenoid generally consists of a long wire which is wound in the form of helix as shown in this figure and a current is passed through it when the current is passed through it a magnetic field is produced and i'll explain how this uh, magnetic field the direction here it is uh, becomes as south pole and north pole and the resultant magnitude when you see the field within this region means inside the solenoid appears to be almost uniform whereas outside the uh, the solenoid as you go far away from solenoid it keeps on decreasing or it becomes weak or in our uh, study part we can assume that the solenoid the magnetic field outside the solenoid as zero now an electric current is passed through this coil one end of the solenoid behaves as a south pole other end behaves as a north north pole so you can use the solenoid as an electromagnet electromagnet means the solenoid will behaves as a magnet when only when an electric current is passed through it so in general for our study purpose we will be considering a long solenoid so what does the long solenoid means the long solenoid is it means that the length of the solenoid is very large when compared to its radius radius i'll write these points here so we will be considering a long solenoid so what does it means the long solenoid means that so i'll write long solenoid means that length is large compared to its radius so what is a solenoid consists of solenoid consists of solenoid consists of a long wire wound in the form of a helix wound in the form of a helix where the neighboring turns where the neighboring turns are closely spaced here in the figure it is shown now when i say the net magnetic field <coughs> the net magnetic field is the vector sum of the fields produced due to all the turns so one turn if you consider it will behave as a circular current loop so one turn in the coil can be regarded as a circular loop so where the neighboring turns are closely spaced each turn can be regarded as a circular loop each turn can be regarded as a circular loop now for our study purpose what we will do is we will consider a small section of this solenoid so like this a small section of solenoid so one end of the so at one end uh, i am considering as the current is in the upward direction and at the other end the current is in the downward direction you know how to find out the direction of the magnetic field when we know the current directions so if the current is of dot type then the magnetic field is anti clockwise direction so around each loop you draw the magnetic field so anti clockwise magnetic field and here the current is cross and the magnetic field will be in the clockwise direction 
now by seeing this cross section we know it's very clear that the field between two neighboring terms vanishes why see here it is going in the upward direction whereas here in the downward direction so when you consider this neighboring coil the field due to this neighboring coil at this point it will get cancelled so when you add vectorially all the magnetic field so the resultant field direction you will be getting like this this outermost line whatever i have drawn so here in this coil it looks like as though the field is going from your left side to right side and then you know so at the center point or in between inside the solenoid it looks almost uniform and the magnetic field is parallel to the axis but as you come out of the solenoid the field as you go away from the solenoid in this direction the field becomes weaker and weaker and that you can see from here so inside the solenoid the field is almost uniform outside it is can be assumed as zero or as you go away from the solenoid it becomes weaker and weaker now therefore we can say that the solenoid can be used to produce a uniform magnetic field or solenoid behaves as an electromagnet when an electric current is passed through it now we'll find out what is the magnetic field how do how do we find out the magnetic field inside this solenoid so for that we will take you know the magnetic field inside the solenoid is almost uniform so we'll write these points the field at the interior midpoint i can say midpoint the field at the interior midpoint say i'll take this point as like you know maybe q interior midpoint so let me say this point as q midpoint q is uniform strong and is along the axis of solenoid along the axis of the solenoid but field outside the field at the exterior point exterior point say at q sorry at p say at p is weak so uh, when we take a large solenoid it will appear as though it is like a long cylindrical metal sheet now we'll consider only a section of this so for our study purpose let us assume that the field outside the solenoid is zero the field outside let us assume that the field outside is zero now to find out the magnetic field we will use ampere's circuit law so for that we need to consider an ampere uh, rectangular amperian loop consider a rectangular consider a rectangular amperian loop as shown in the figure okay i'll write as shown in the figure now where is this figure now this is uh to summarize this see i have drawn here a uniform magnetic field b and this is the dot 
end of the current and this is the cross end of the current b is also shown it is uniform I mean it is along the axis of the solenoid and we are considering a rectangular amperian loop we have already assumed that the field outside the solenoid is zero that is our assumption so now we apply amperian circuitor law So we have to consider a rectangular amperian loop ABCD as shown in this figure. Now we will calculate what is the magnetic field around this loop along all the sections. So line integral of magnetic field over the closed loop. We will write you know line integral. magnetic field over the closed loop a b c d s so we know the formula let's write the, the formula so we can write it as line integral of b dot d l so line integral of b dot dl so this can be divided into a to b b to c c to d and again d to a a to b b dot dl plus b to c plus c to d b dot d l plus d to a b dot d l now we b l b into d l can be written as b d l cos cos of the angle between the magnetic field and the d l this can be written as a to b now b dl and what is the angle the b is in this direction and also the current element or you know dl is also in the same direction so therefore the angle between b and dl is zero here plus b to c b dl so here b is in this direction and dl will be perpendicular to b so the angle between dl and b is 90 degree when you take from B to C so it is cos 90 and then you know the from C to D when you take from C to D C to D it is the point which is lying outside the solenoid or exterior point so the magnetic field at that point is 0 0 plus then you can consider it as b to c is over so a to b b to c c to d and then d to a similarly it is again b d l cos 90 so angle between b and d l will be 90 degree because b in this direction d l in the downward direction so it will be 90 cos 90 being 0 we get this as so this term also reduced to 0, 0. Therefore, this will become line integral of B dot DL which is equal to integration of A to, sorry I will write here B small b, A to B, A to B, B DL. This can be written as B into integration of A to B DL. So the total length from A to B we have assumed it as H because C to D is H so A to B will also be equal to H this can be written as B into H therefore line integral of magnetic field over the closed loop DL as we are getting it as B into H now we have to apply amperes 
circuital law to find out the magnetic field.